back at it again and the phrase that the left has been using quite a lot more recently has been threat to democracy or end of democracy well we're gonna take a look at that i'm not even gonna talk a whole lot let's dive in americans believe our democracy is at risk that our democracy is under threat. Democracy itself is on the ballot. The stakes are high. What was at stake tonight and this week was the fact whether we will be a democracy in the future, whether our children will be arrested and conceivably killed. This country is on track to repeat what happened in Germany when it was the greatest democracy going. You did the say there, though, end. it could be the end of the world. The, no. Democracy will be ended. The world will continue to exist. This that has been their messaging more recently, and they've they've changed it, changed it, and shifted it. Um, you know, up until today, obviously. Now that uh, midterms are here, uh, because the other messaging was not working. It wasn't sticking. People didn't really care about it. Um, so I've got a video with the Daily Caller that is titled "Democracy is Over." Let's dive into it. What is the most important issue for you in this election? Uh, gee, I don't know. Maybe the democracy might crumble and fall. What do you think the consequence will be if on Tuesday Republicans retake Congress, take governorship? Hold on, let me guess, let me guess, let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. Democracy is over. Uh, can you guys tell what gave it away for me right there? Let me know things like that. I, I think our democracy is in danger. The overall issue is this country turning into a fascist nation. Democracy is on the line. The safety of our country is on the line. What is the most important issue for you? The fact, the fact that we can even vote. I mean, if, if we lose the, if we lose that, we're, we're, we're in trouble. How do you think we'll look back on this period of American history? We will either have dodged a bullet. How do you think we'll look back? I mean, if, if we... So apparently this is in Pennsylvania because... It says Fetterman on his sticker, which is upside down, mind you. <laughs> Goodness gracious, you can't make this stuff up. His sticker is literally upside down. Anyway. If we lose, the, if we lose that, we're, we're, we're in trouble. How do you think we'll look back on this period of American history? We will either have dodged a bullet or we will not be having interviews on the streets. I really believe that. Yeah. Well said. I, I second that. that I, I can't wait until a year and a half from now, we I re-released all of these clips and show people, you remember when they said democracy was going to be over? And then there was like a red tsunami that happened. And then all of you were panicking because the left was trying to fear monger you into just supporting them. Remember, remember that happened? Is democracy still here? Are we getting ready to do our part once again hmm? so when they tell you hey you can't elect this guy because it's going to end democracy again remember they said that <laughs> before and it didn't happen and this isn't the first time or that wasn't the first time that they said it so stop buying into their bs man i, I can't wait for that video where i bring up back bring back all of these clips it's gonna be glorious that's gonna be one great video, but let's continue on. That was really well said. Why, why you left Republicans? <laughs> yes. They just screw things up. On January. What? Six. Um, how, how did you feel? What went through your mind on that day? I, it felt like we were, I, it felt like we were in a nightmare that we couldn't, from which we could not wake up. It was disorienting for days for me to watch it back. Yeah, January 6th was a big problem. Yeah. How'd you feel on January 6th? Horrified. I was horrified. Of course I was. And everybody should be. And um, I'm disgusted and mortified. Mortified before the world. What would you say to people? Get the lynch mob. Get the lynch mob. The basket full of deplorables is real. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, we're all going to hell in hand basket, but it's in God's hands, not ours. 20 years from now, how, how, are, how are we going to view this period? The orange stain is going to be uh, vilified like any other insurrectionist that has ever uh, invaded our country. He has destroyed democracy as best he could 
while he was in office. Well, I hope we'll look back and see that we were able to save our country um, from any extremism that seems to be taking place on the other side. What do you think the... Con <laughs> oh, the fact that they're talking about extremism. Oh, my goodness. The only people that are extreme around here is the left. I mean, there, there's there's no moderation. I mean, literally, um, if you come out and you disagree with the left and you're a part of the left, they will shun you and call you a far right extremist. If that doesn't tell you how far the left has gone, then I don't know what will. I don't know what will. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Goodness. You remember you remember the 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 uh leftist that came out um and said that we should negotiate or try to bring some type of peace to the situation that's happening overseas and everybody on the left called, you know, uh, uh came out after him and then they had to re-release a statement and say, "No, we actually support this still going on." <laughs> I'm just like, "Man, you can't even be moderate." If you are a part of the left anymore, if you're a part of the right, you could definitely be moderate. I feel like most people on the right are moderate. You know, they are, they're, they're, they're on a bunch of far right extremists. Do they exist? Yeah, sure. But it's, it's accepted to be closer to the center when you're on the right than it is to be far right. When you're closer to the center and you're on the left, oh, well, you might as well be a part of the right. Get on out of here. You're a far right extremist. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Man, I don't get these folks. Consequence will be if Republicans win oh, in God. November. Or I guess I don't Tuesday. Even, I don't even want to think about it. What do you think the immediate consequence will be if Republicans win on Tuesday? Chaos. <laughs> we need more like, I hate to I can't believe I would be saying Liz Cheney, but at least she wants democracy, you know? Yeah. So I don't know, the Republicans are messed up. It's most of them, you know, it's like demonizing. We were just saying it's like a classic yeah. fascist. Yeah. What do you think the consequence will be if on Tuesday, Republicans win the House and Senate? <laughs> it's hard to say, but it's, it's devastating. Yes, exactly. I was like, oof, no, they cannot win. <laughs> it's about, you know, the Christian far right, you know, anti-abortion, anti-gay marriage. It's just, oh, wait a second. So, you, you notice being a Christian was demonized? I'll save that conversation for another day. I, I've, I've got some ideas with that one. That uh, being a Christian has become a terrible thing. If you're a Christian, you're a demon. Hmm. Hmm. Hold that thought. People need to really turn out this election. It's so important. I'll tell you what, I told um, Dick Cheney to his face in the rotunda, my own self, right after 9-11. I said, oh, hey, Dick, oh, that's your name, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so where, where, where do I even start with that one? Um, first off, it was scary to watch that. It was funny and sad um it was scary because you know the left has gotten people to buy into the threat to democracy statement which we don't even live in a democracy but i'll, I'll save that for later they've gotten people to believe in it because they've repeated it so much and uh, i think i dropped a, a youtube short on how the messaging is done right you demonize you know this group and you call them all types of names and horrible names and things like that and you try to shun them from society and then you just repeat the same thing over and over and over again until it, it sticks in some people's minds and obviously you saw there i mean a bunch of brainwashed zombies you know just repeating the same stuff that's not even correct we live in a constitutional republic, not a democracy. There's a difference, but I bet you they couldn't tell you the difference. Guarantee you, none of those people could tell you the difference. That is just absolutely sad. 
And the fact that people are willing to continually put those types of folks back in office. The one lady said, why do you like Republicans? They just mess up everything. What? Democrats have the House, the Senate, and the presidency. They have the FBI, the CIA. They, they have everything. Social media, big tech, all of that. They have everything. And look at the situation we are in. And you talk about Republicans messing up everything? I, I, I really don't even know what to say after something like that foolish. Part of me just doesn't really understand how anybody could be that foolish to say something like that. Big tech, all of the government. Every bit of the government, social media platforms, everything, top to bottom. Look at the current situation. And she said, Republicans mess up. Oh, my goodness. Whew. Oh, man. Thankfully, that wasn't a whole lot of people because, boy, oh, boy. I mean, we, we would be in a deep pile of poop. We would be up Poops Creek without a paddle in sight. If they manage to convince more people, um, we, we, we've got to do a better job. I've got to do a better job. Um, not of, you know, uh, I, and I don't mean like brainwashing folks, but letting people know the truth because we, we can't have too many people walking around like the folks we just saw in that video, because we will be in some very, very, very dark times if they get to lead us. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We we, we got to do a better job, y'all. Uh I'm going to do a better job myself of of, you know, uh sharing these videos all over the place and talking to people more and more off, you know what I mean? Like because that that is scary. They talk about, you know, Republicans being uh uh, uh the scary folks and, you know, all of this bad stuff. No, bad stuff will happen if they get their wishes. Goodness gracious. Like, share, comment. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section too. Peace and love. I'm out.